Hello, this is a video about building my Tamiya CCO2 Ford Bronco 2021 kit and it's Tamiya part number 47483 which is the limited edition version with a pre-painted and pre-cut body. I got this because it was in a sale last year and at the time was actually quite a bit cheaper than the standard kit with the body you have to cut out and paint yourself. I also really like the box art colour which is Tamiya PS32 Corsa Grey and the roof and bumpers are Tamiya PS5 Black with a top coat of Tamiya PS55 Flat Clear which gives them a nice matte finish. The first thing I did was cut out and fit the decals. There's a lot of them and it took me two afternoons, roughly nine hours, to do this before I was happy with them because I did find a few of them wouldn't stick properly. Personally, I also think some of them were unnecessary, especially the wheel arches, which have two decals on each arch and I found them difficult to apply. I ended up using a hairdryer to soften them, which made it easier, but if the arches had been factory painted black on this body, like the roof and bumpers, it would look much better. I don't understand why you would use decals to make the arches black and I really don't like the look of them. I think the section in front of the windscreen also should have been painted black instead of having decals. This area has six separate decals on it and some are really fiddly to apply and took me many attempts to get it right. So if you buy the kit with the unpainted body, study the decals carefully before you apply them and figure out which areas could be painted instead of spending ages fitting decals which won't look as good. This is something I wish I'd done and I will buy the paint to do it when the decals start to peel in the future. Oh, and one more thing, don't bother with the windscreen wiper decals, they look absolutely sh** The kit also comes with the Tamiya TLU-01 light unit, which has two white and two red LEDs. These are 5mm and are pre-wired with plugs for the light unit. It would have been nice if Tamiya had included two sets of red in the kit because the rear lamps can actually take two in each side. So I used the set supplied in one side and in the other side I used this Yeah Racing set left over from another build which are also pre-wired and have the same plug. So instead of just having the top or the bottom lit, both lights are fully lit and look a lot better. The plastic components were easy to fix to the body because it had pre-made holes ensuring that every part fitted in place correctly. Unfortunately, this also included holes for the body posts. This was a shame because I would have liked to have used magnets to secure the body and this would have left a more scale appearance to the overall look of the Bronco. I wasn't sure if I wanted the roof rack because it would make the Bronco top heavy and I quite like the look of it with just the roof rails. But I decided to assemble and fit it because this is essentially a trail truck and not a rock crawler and that's how it's going to be run. This is the body finished and despite my criticisms personally I think with all the plastic parts fitted it's one of the nicest and most scale looking Lexan bodies Tamiya have produced so far. Ok so on to the chassis. This is going to be brief because I've already done a full build video on the CCO2 chassis when I built my Unimog. I built the Bronco chassis slightly different to the way I built the Unimog chassis. First is the position of the servo. You have two options for this. Both options are chassis mounted and one is to fit the servo bracket like this so the servo is horizontal, which I'd already done on the Unimog. So this time I took the other option and fit the bracket to the chassis like this, so the servo is vertical. It'll be interesting to see how the steering compares to the Unimog with this setup, but it's an easy job to change the position of either servos if I decide I prefer one way to the other. The other change I made was the motor and ESC. The kit comes with a Tamiya 27 turn 540 brush silver can motor and a Tamiya THW 1060 ESC. This is actually the Hobbywing 1060 ESC rebranded by Hobbywing for Tamiya. I put the silver can in my Unimog when I built it and the ESC that came with that kit was a Tamiya TBL04S. But after a few runs I decided this combination was too fast for the type of trailing I like to do. 
so I bought a Surpass scale crawler combination for it. This contains a 5 slot 16 turn 1850 kV brushed motor and a scale crawler 60 amp brushed ESC. I have this set up in my Element Trail Runner Fire and I really like it and the combination doesn't cost a lot. This made a big difference to the performance of the Unimog and was much more to my liking. So I got another one and put it straight into this Bronco chassis when I was building it. Another option this kit gives you is to lock the diff in the axles with the black plastic parts shown here. When I built the Unimog I only locked the diff in the rear axle so I decided to lock the diff in both axles in the Bronco. I don't think it will have a dramatic effect on the performance of the steering because of the low speeds I will be running it but it will help the traction if the terrain gets a bit tough. So this is the chassis complete. I used metal bearings throughout the build instead of the usual plastic and brass bushings Tamiya supply in the majority of their kits. And I've used the Tamiya tyres that came with this kit. They're not very soft but I like the look of them on the black wheels and they're due for now and the kind of trailing it will be used for. As I said before, for me the Bronco body is one of the most scale looking Lexan bodies Tamiya have produced and it looks even nicer now it's on the chassis. I was going to add a run to this video but as it's already nearly 7 minutes long I will upload that at a later date and end with these photos. Thank you very much for watching.